and I'm not someone who's going to jump on really talking a lot about necessarily like that, the extraterrestrial influence type of concept. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you, if there's anything that suggests outside intervention, it's the moon. It's the weirdest thing in the world. Like we have, we have, we know of no other satellite to a planet ratio like the moon. Mm -hmm. the, the what its composition is, the way it, the way that it, it balances life here, and the size ratio for the Earth and the Sun, it's an impossibility. Yeah, it's one four hundredth the size, it's and it's one four hundredth the distance. It's perfect and, to create an eclipse. And we're told that the moon is just a, a an accreted object that randomly formed that perfect shape that happens to be one four hundredth right to mm -hmm. be that perfect representation of the size to give create eclipse mm -hmm. it's in, it's impossible that that could be random it's mm -hmm. impossible mm -hmm. there's no way that that the all those impossibilities could come together in one thing unless something wanted to create a perfect system here right that's what it seems like our solar system is some kind of a an experiment in creating a perfect system with ratios and to foster something here. And I think right. the more that I've studied, especially looking at tablets, is that that may have been all done for, a lot of it at least may have been done for us because of how important our story is and how we actually have a far more profound connection to higher higher things than we know. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a guy in who, I think his name was, uh, fact check me here, Steve, the guy named Carl Wolf, who, um, found images uh he was working he was working in the space program and uh he was developing photographs and he went into this um secure location where they were actually like developing photographs of the dark side of the moon or whatever and this guy saw it and he described vividly that there was megalithic structures that were on the dark side of the moon yeah i've definitely heard that and like i think I think he was killed. He he died mysteriously. Uh, he claimed he saw okay NASA photos of alien structures, quote unquote alien structures. Um, he died in a bike accident. So go go down to the top uh, paragraph, see exactly what it says. Yeah, yeah. For, okay, uh, former U.S. Air Force photo. He was a photo technician who claimed he saw the secret NASA photos of the structures on the on the, on the surface of the moon. So um, I don't think he actually said whether he believed they were alien or not. What he said was they were megalithic looking structures yeah. on the dark side of the moon. Yeah. And so there's a couple of really weird things. And I guess Randall's really good in the moon stuff. But yeah. I mentioned a couple of things. Um, one, when they did studies of the, there was a whole Russian team. And I don't remember if it was the 70s or, or 80s, but a Russian team did a study on craters in the moon. Have you heard this? Uh, what, how they're the de all the same depth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then none of them, no matter how large the radius of the crater is, none yeah. of them exceed a certain depth. Right. Which is so weird because Very weird. the depth should be di directly determined based on the size of the impact. Mm -hmm. Right. So if something's larger that mm -hmm. creates a larger impact crater should go deeper into it. Right. And yet none of them do. They never, they never go past a certain depth anywhere on the planet. They never do. And the weirdest thing is when after the Apollo missions, when they sent a, a probe to crash into the moon, I'm sure you know about this, it rang like a bell for, for like, over an hour. For like, yeah, for hours. Mm -hmm. It just rang, which show, which tells us that it's well, here's an interesting composed take. of metallics and is hollow. Like, is that- Steve, ask ChatGPT, <laughs> what is the size of the moon compared to the earth? And then Google, and then ask ChatGPT, what is the mass of the moon compared to the Earth? And the variation is crazy. Oh, it's like it's like light. It's a it's really really light. Oh, it, it, it. But it's also the strongest thing ever at the same time. Right. So it's really weird. Yeah. So okay. Oh, we didn't ask for all this. <laughs> Come on, ChatGPT. But basically, it doesn't have any of the density of Earth. That's the thing that's so weird about. Okay, it. the moon is about a quarter the diameter of Earth. Uh, what is the mass? What is the, what is the, um, the mass, compared to Earth. The mass yeah. difference of the earth compared to the moon? Da, 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 da. Oh, wow, that was cool. The earth is about 81 times the mass. So the moon's mass is roughly 1.23%. And yet, it's, and yet it's a quarter the a size. A quarter the size. Yes. That means it's hollow. Yeah, it's likely hollow. And the, the theory is, and I mean, again, if you're going to try to figure something out, you got to go back to the old Sherlock Holmes thing, right? And it's important. It still rings true to this day. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to figure something out, you use that old method, right? Whatever, when you're trying to explore something, you explore all possibilities and whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. 
that holds true for anything. Mm -hmm. So we eliminate everything, right? Let's eliminate all the things that aren't there. It has a certain depth. The craters can't go past a certain depth. It rings. It's lighter. So what does that mean? What's all that's left? Well, it's not natural. It has some kind of a, a, a shield, like some kind of a metallic or something underneath the, 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 the ground. Yeah. Something to prevent anything from going deeper. And if it's a metallic-like object, it somehow is hollow, too. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense if, right. we, if we analyze and look at it. Right. And the fact that life wouldn't be possible on Earth without it. Right. Is really interesting. Like has to be that exact ratio. What was it? Um, that if it was even five percent in a different location, like if it was five percent further away or five percent closer, like none of this would work. Well, the the um the distance between the earth and the moon is changing. So I think what did Kevin Knuth explain to us? He I think he explained to us that the distance the 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 moon every year gets a couple feet farther away from the earth. Is that right? And has it been constantly doing that? Or does it, I think it maybe it resets every couple thousand years or something well, like this? Well, it's tidal locked. So it's 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 stuck to our, obviously our our gravity. So it can't mm. go anywhere. Mm. Um, but it is so weird. It's so interesting to, to consider whether or not something was created a long time ago to let a certain kind of story unfold. I mean, it's a miracle. The moon is a miracle. It's an impossibility. Right. It's a, I, like the moon being the idea that the moon just randomly ended up being that distance from the from the earth to be that difference that distance to the sun and being able to perfectly stabilize and terraform this earth to make it livable is as believable as as Jesus Christ I mean it's enough to make anyone become a Christian if anything I would I would challenge anyone who's smart and academic to try to go look at that evidence to try yeah. to disprove that right like about what the moon is because it doesn't make sense so this says that the, the moon moves away from the earth at a rate of about 3.78 centimeters or 1.5 inches per year um, zoom, can you zoom out a little bit, Steve? So, so, uh, so it says the moon's gravity creates tidal bulges in the Earth's oceans because the Earth rotates faster than the moon's uh, than the moon orbits. These bulges are pulled slightly ahead of the moon. The moon's gravity then pulls back on these bulges, and in turn, the bulges pull forward on the moon, pushing it into a slightly wider orbit. Interesting. But does it say that? Um, so it just so it goes back and forth. Is that what it's, is that what it's, it's yeah, saying? Yeah, it can't actually because it would just leave if that was the case. It would yeah, just, it probably just wobbles wobbles back and forth. Right, based right, on that. right. Yeah, but it's really interesting. I mean, that's it's also crazy that it's fucking so. It's it's two hundred and thirty four thousand miles away. Yeah, like that's just absurd how far away it is. You but know, but it doesn't still, seem that far away because it's and yet it still plays such an integral yeah. part in, in our in our planet with life. Right. Yeah. It's just weird. Yeah. I mean, someday, ho hopefully, we'll know more answers on that. For me, I like to typically think, look, there's a lot to figure out still in space. We have a lot to still figure out here, mm -hmm. right? Especially with our story and who we are. So mm. a lot of people are racing to try to escape. I'm more like, I think that what we need is that we most need to grow is here, not out there. Like for instance, we are very primitive in our understanding of consciousness and higher levels of energy and spirituality in like a deep way like they were. We, we were like children when it comes to that. I think that we shouldn't be blinded by the, the fun technologies that are put in front of us and ignore what may be a more important area to understand and go into like rather than moving forward at the speed we are and thinking that there aren't consequences, I think we need to remember that we can learn a lot more about who we are and about where we should be going in the future in the past than necessarily in the future. Mm. Like they could teach us a lot more than we understand, a lot more. And I think that's actually the biggest piece here is that if we study this civilization, this global civilization that left all these clues for us, all this knowledge, I think it is the ultimate way we find what we've been looking for all along, not out there, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs>